I don't even title my poems anymore. Um, well, okay. okay. Dear niece, you were born on the day of love. With your umbilical cord wrapped around your throat, we watched as you died, as you choked. And what was supposed to sustain your life, we mourned. But on that day, we watched as you became the embodiment of hope. You fought with skin so blue, you fought. With all odds against you, you fought. As they tried to resuscitate you, you fought and fought and fought. I've never seen something so small kick so much ass but my niece. On that day, I've seen it in you. I've seen it in you as you fought for breath. As you fought for your right to live, we thought you were finished. You blessed God with your presence for 10 of our earthly minutes before you decided to rejoin the ranks of the living. But it's not that simple. In life, these things seldom are. The battle you fought had come with a cost. For being gone so long, the doctor so calm told us that most of your hearing was gone. They told us you were lucky to have died cerebral palsy. Lucky to have died such a lethal fate, but not lucky enough. See, we cried when they told us. Use of hearing aids, my niece. I wrote that poem for you. This is a message from your uncle Khalifa. Whereas how you pronounce my name now, I tell your uncle Dida. I love you. And I want to teach you a few things about the world in this poem. I want to start with your name. Did you know Amira means princess in Arabic? That you will one day become queen. A queen, fluent in sign language, you will create with the same hands you use to speak. But alas, my queen, it's not that simple. In life, these things seldom are. I worry that North America's a lost cause. I worry because it doesn't work for people with skin colors like ours. So you're half Iraqi and half Haitian, and that is 100% problematic. I worry. Will they be bigoted to you because of your Middle Eastern heritage? Will they call you a terrorist? Will they spit on you like they did my mom and sister after 9-11 when their kindness severed and we were treated like dogs? But let's pause for a second. We were treated worse because even their dogs have a spot in heaven on my niece, my beautiful queen. Will they be bigoted to you because of the proud black blood that pumps in your system? Will their system make you another Tanisha Anderson, another Yvette Smith, another Miriam Carey, another Shelley Frey? Or will their system make you another motherfucking Sandra Bland? My niece, the list goes on and on and on. Sadly, too many black women lose their lives to police hands. There's no justice, no peace. My niece, if there's one thing I want you to learn from this poem is that there's no justice, no peace. My niece, I worry because I know North America's a lost cause. I worry because I know it doesn't work for a gender like yours. One in four women will be sexually assaulted in their lifetime. I pray you stay on guard. When I look at those beautiful eyes, stay on guard. When I look at that beautiful black smile, stay on guard. And if you need anything, just call. You have a rough life in store, but you have beat the odds before we watch as you died on the day of love. The same day as your birth, February 14th, the 2013th, the day you conquered death, we watched as you rose yourself from the ashes, as you became phoenix, as you became goddess, as you conquered death, as you will one day become queen. I totally fucked that up.